Hey, we're in full swing now, Origin behind us, and we are marching towards finals football, which it felt like uh, Saturday at 3 o'clock. Fox League got the call, Bulldogs and the Broncos, 41-16. to oh, yeah. 42,000 in attendance. They were up and about, and as uh, Sean the Trader said, no Stephen Crichton, no problem. No. Wasn't it good watching Lang Park or oh. Suncorp Stadium during the day? Perfect. Because you don't see much of it. Nah. Cause they're it all... was old, it was old City Football Stadium finals like it, it was it was I mean the Bulldogs obviously handled the conditions better, which yeah. which is a surprise. But they were just that was a great game plan. They were just shifting early to their edges and the the Broncos defense was all over the shop. Yep. Poor old uh, Ezra, they really targeted Ezra. I think yep. he missed about a dozen tackles. So they were zeroing in on his inside shoulder and when 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 they I mean he's got a good technique usually. Because he's he's brave in defence, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they they just targeted him, and unfortunately um, he got found out a bit. He did uh, on that side who was damaging uh, Preston. How good is he? Oh, how good is he? They're, they're going to be in a prelim. I can see. I can see. Yeah. It. But do you agree? Oh, mate, the way they're going. Well, they're, they're, you're right. The way they defend is perfect for semi final football, and yep. they just seem to be growing in confidence every week. Yep. Like at the start of the year, we're all going, "Oh, here we go. It's it's the Bulldogs. It's going to be. The, they might." improve a spot or two, but they've certainly bought into whatever um, Serraldo's yep. throwing out there. And, and serraldo has been there two years now, and he's obviously doing a very, very good job. If you look at the team on paper, nearly, nearly anyone they play, if you picked a composite side, they'd have fewer players, yep. wouldn't they? Yeah. In, in that composite side, whoever they play. So that's testament to what is doing. But I've got no doubt the influence of Crichton, like... I know I joke about it all the time, all ships rise with the tide. Even though he didn't play, he's played a part in lifting their standards the whole year. No doubt. No yeah. doubt no doubt at, at all. I think having the coach there, and remember all the, the drama around the Bulldogs last year when they they were training too hard? Yeah. Certain players are going, well, we're not, we're not, we don't want to train this hard. Yep. And they said, well, if, you're not, if you don't want to, you're not part of this club. Yep. You've got to weed them out. Cameron Serraldo spoke very, very well on uh, Breakfast with Vossi and Brandy this morning, but he was also talking about one of the questions posed to him was about you signed all those utility players, and he said, no, we didn't sign utilities. We signed players determined to work hard. Yep, yep perfect. That, that, that's what they did. Uh, here's what he had to say, uh, amongst other things, on the game plan of the Bulldogs on the weekend. We had a really tough period there where we played three games in between our buys, uh, Roosters, Sharks, Warriors, and we... Yeah, you know, they're three really good teams that played finals last year. And you know, what we learned out of that was we can go toe-to-toe with anyone. We just needed to ask more questions. We need to play to our strengths a little bit more. Um, and we worked on that over the bye. The, the unfortunate thing, or the, the fortunate thing for our guys, was that Reed and Berto were in Oregon camp having a great experience um, with their respective teams. But as a spine, we, we never got to implement it with them. You know, the, Our attack was ready to click. We had a week to prepare for it for the Broncos game. Again, it's one of those games you circle, Suncourt Stadium, 3 o'clock, packed house. Like it's a, it's a really special atmosphere to be part of, and our guys are really excited, and it was good that our attack started to click. Tell you what, he, I've been listening to him a lot in recent interviews, very considerate how he said, says things and words things. They asked him this morning about Mitchell Woods. Brandy asked him about this Mitchell Woods. Is he going to be a, an he's, absolute superstar? He's your lock. Yes, yes. And he said, look, Right about now, he'd be getting on a, on a bus to school. So yeah. he, said, he said, right now, he, his focus needs to be on doing well in the HSC. Yeah. Because you know? sex on legs is going great. Yeah, that's right. There's no rush. Um, but it was, it's just, I'll tell you what, and, and again, it's these teams, I reckon, Brian, like you see it with Melbourne, you see it with Penrith, they've got no fear about pushing youngsters forward. Mm. And what that does, it just creates competition, doesn't it? So Canterbury, for example, like Wilson's flying. But the fox is going to come back. Yeah. And when you start having all these competitions where no one can be complacent in the group, yep. it just pushes everyone to that no, next level. Good. Speaking of the Panthers, and, and I do believe that I, I've just got a feeling come September football, Serraldo is going to meet the Panthers. Serraldo and Crichton are going to play the Panthers in a big final. Can you see that? Uh, yeah. Well, if they do, they're certainly going to have to. Um up there attacking. They've got to do exactly what they did against yeah. Brisbane. They've got to chance their arm. Yep. Because we saw what the, the Dragons yesterday, the one-out stuff, it's just not It's just not going to work no. against Penrith. But you know, you know what? I was going to talk about this earlier. So people like Karaz, right, he, he 
Watching these sevens, if you, that'd be a bloody hard game too, by the mm. way, the rugby sevens at the Olympics. And, and well done to France. It was quite the surprise. They won that. Can you imagine doing that? Winning first gold for France in front of all these people. But the the offload in this game is so important. Yeah. K- Kiraz doesn't often get tackled no. if he's jumping around. So and, he, and he's got an offload in him. Imagine him playing sevens. Yeah. Oh, please. I, I still don't get, for the life of me, how – if you're a team playing against the Panthers, how in the world are you going to score a try when you're down on their line and you just set two up for a, That's for right. a play? That's right. You've got to go I, big... I, I, don't, I don't understand it. They go, front rower, lay the line. Oh, let's do another front rower, lay the line. Try something different. I, I don't know if they do this at training, Brian, but I, I would. They, they practice so much perfection, right? Teams practice all this perfection. I'd like, like, I'd, like scrimmaging, you mean? Yeah, like everything's got to be. And if you don't get it right, you yeah. start again. Perfection, perfection. But most tries aren't off perfection. No. Most tries are the ball goes out the back. It's jump. I'd, I'd, I'd have a whistle and I'd blow it. And if the whistle blows, you've got to throw it on the ground. Yeah. And just 20 see. touches. That's the old 20 touches game. Is, is that what it is? I'd like to see. And I mean, Arthur Beetson <clears throat> was the greatest ball playing front row we've ever seen. Yep. He had a thing called the he hit and spin. So he'd hit. He turned his big salmon and would offload, yeah. usually to a flying Russell Fairfax. Yep. Can we just get for these teams lower on the on the um, on the ladder? Instead of just going up for for a settler for your front row, just try that. Yep. Just get up there, turn turn your body, and just have two either two centers or a fullback just Trailing. steaming into yep. a hole. Yep. Just just try it for just me. Just try it. So rather than running up, slow play the ball. Get up there. Fend off. Yep. Turn your hip like Arthur did. Yeah. Just attempt it. You're not yep. gonna. You're not gonna always come off. But it, geez, it's a hell of a lot better than just going up, getting a slow play of the ball. Hundred percent. And then by the time the halfback gets the ball for this big shift, the opposition's in your face. So it these nullifies. block plays, they've they've trained to defend it all week. Yeah. It's, haven't they? It's when the ball bouncing ball gets a bit loose. It's most tries I reckon are not conventional. They're they're just. Can you? Can you ask? Can you do this? Can you go back to your uh, research, your yeah, lab, yeah, yeah. and find out? Is in this year, in twenty twenty four, is this the year where we've had the highest amount of forwards as try scorers? Oh right, can yeah, you just maybe. Do that for me. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right because I know Adam Fanua Blake yep. has scored nine. Yeah, he's but you know he, yep. he's a freak. But I'd like to know is if this year, twenty twenty four, the most forwards have scored. Yeah, you could be right. Uh, so that was 46-10. Uh, the Panthers beating the Dragons. Nathan Cleary sublime. He gets a hat-trick. Uh, Roost- oh, Roosters. Ooh, they led 22 blot. Mm. Three intercepts. And, well, 34-30 the game ends up. Are, are you concerned if you're Coach Robinson or? Um, they got off to a, a great start. 22 zip, and they were cruising. They did this against the Warriors, too. Remember when they came out and did that? Exactly the same thing. Yep. And then they won, but not convincingly in that game. They're just switching off. The the, the intercepts by Luke Keir, I don't know, was, I don't know what Kez was doing. Uh, are they... Um, I don't know what was all that about. Like, we are saying for a long time in this competition, oh, it's a race in four. Then it was a race in three. People are saying it's a race in two now. On their day, on their day, they can... Can do an upset, but as you like to say, if you're playing the Panthers, the Roosters are playing the Panthers out of 100, how many times are they winning? Yeah. And if it's on the moon, yeah. Oh, good luck. Good luck. One giant leap for the Roosters. <laughs> Raiders 32, they beat the Holiday Raiders, Rabbitohs 12. Yeah, that was, that was, this was poor. Yeah, they're, they're queuing the rack now. I, I just had a feeling there was no Arrow, there was no Latrell, no Murray. A couple of soft tries that let him in. But yep. in saying that, Raiders were really good. Jamal Fogarty, he makes a hell of a difference. Massive difference, yeah, massive difference. Uh, Here's what Ricky Stewart had to say about the big win. I I got to the game tonight thinking we we will win. We will win. Um, We've had a good week, prep-wise. You know, I'm not going to get over-excited about the win. I'm happy we won for smell. Um, Happy that uh, we've put a couple of games together, but... You, you, you can see the day, today, the, some of the results today, some of the results over the weekend. It's every game's a tough game. It doesn't matter who you play. It's a it's a very very tough competition. Certainly is. Uh, it certainly is. It is very very hard to uh, to back it up. That's for sure. Just uh, the on the Titans and the Dolphins, twenty one fourteen. It was fourteen nil. Yeah. Dolphins were absolutely coasting, and uh, then all of a sudden they hit the wall. 
Khan Pereira picks up a double, so he's absolutely flying. And I mentioned this last week, Brian. In the last eight games, people talk about Khan Pereira and his attacking prowess. In the last eight games, well, now nine games, he scored 13 tries himself to his opposing winger, three. That's that's good football, isn't it? Both sides of the ball. If we're speaking about wingers, Brooksy, your man, Jackie Bostock. How good's yeah, he? Yeah, he's good. How is good is he going? He's that good. That was the turning point when you know when he went from dummy half and he yep. unfortunately knocked it on. That would have made a twenty to six, twenty to eight, whatever it was. So uh, that was crucial. But Titans under under Desi, did you yep. see the rev up he gave? Oh him? yeah. Uh, a shout out too for um, uh, just back to that Raiders game. Alex Johnston, he's done a um, Achilles. An Achilles. So he's parked on 195 for the time being. He's chasing 212 of Ken Irvine. Um, so what is that? How, how many? 17 you know, off. 17 is that that's all? A long, yeah, but that's a long way, Brian. With the Achilles? Yeah. That, Do you think this is destiny? I don't know. Child? I don't know. They're just saying, you Kelly, know, can you handle this? I don't know. They're just saying, we're not, you can't go past it. To the left, to the left. Yeah. You can't go past, you can't go past the great Kenneth. <laughs> Uh, Cowboys 30 defeat the Sharks 22. I did say this doesn't feel like a 30-20 type of game. Well, it was 30-22. Uh, big win for the Cowboys. Kyle Felt is coming up with the tries. He picks up a hat-trick. Ruben Cotter came off during oh. the match with a bad HIA. So too did Tao Malolo. So I don't know if we're going to see them this week either. Nanai, he won the Paul Green medal. So congratulations to him. They've been doing a beautiful thing there mm. when the Sharkies take on the Cowboys. So Jeremiah Nanai wins the Paul Green medal for the man of the match. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, news that the Cowboys looking to offload Valentine Holmes. He's uh, allowed to explore his options. Craig Fitzgibbon, uh, clearly disappointed with the loss. Here's what he had to say. You can get caught up in result, result only, which is pretty important, as we know. So, yeah. um, they tend to decide most things we do. but. Um, I thought it was a terrific game, uh, really hard fought. And for what um, I probably didn't allude to it a great deal prior to the game or after that, what we went through during the week with illness, um, you know, we had uh, a captain was spewing and um, gastric bug the day of the game, the day of the game, and still got himself out there and did a job. We had guys flying up at different times due to flu to get out there and perform and get close against a um, team that's got, you know, five or six origin players and are finding some good form themselves. I was pretty proud of that, but we'd like to have won, mate. Okay, well, I threw, I threw to the um, saying he'd be disappointed. He seemed pretty upbeat about that. Uh, young Ison, I thought, played played okay yeah. at fullback. Um, and you see all the shirts now. They've obviously, they've obviously getting clued up nice and early. All the shirts get made for the debuts. Oh, yes, for the family and yeah, friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. I was thinking about that. No one came and watched my debut. Anyone come and watch your debut? <laughs> no, they didn't. No one gave a rat's ass no, no, nowadays. No. Maybe that's what's wrong with us. Mm. Maybe that's why we're so bitter and twisted. We are bitter and twisted, Brian. Um, <laughs> Storm, keep doing Storm things. 32 points to 14. Cruised by the Parramatta Eels. Munster returned from injury. Jerome Hughes, he must have the Dallium wrapped up. He must have it absolutely wrapped up. But we need to nominate our best of the business. It's best in the biz time thanks to bizcover.com.au. Compare free quotes, get instant cover online and save with drama-free business insurance. Okay, uh, Nathan Cleary is going to be hard to beat. Best of the biz for round twenty-one. Brian, you got a nomination? Um, well, I was out live at a game, and I haven't been out for at a live out at the stadium. And James Tedesco, oh, what yeah. I saw, what he was doing, he, it, the amount of, ha- of work he does pushing up on every play. I oh, know, like so, he's not going to get the ball, but he just pushes up just in case. Yep. And um, I know Dylan Edwards is the. He's the number one fullback in the game, but geez, Teddy's not far off him. Yep. Uh, he, he, the irony in all that, he's having one of his better seasons, uh, James Tedesco. There's no doubt about that. The year he's been dropped from representative football has been one of his better seasons in recent times. You can say with BizCover, business insurance on the go. Switch and save on your business insurance in minutes. For on-the-go cover, go BizCover.